Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and this is a film that I actually watched yesterday on Netflix, it just dropped on Netflix, so you should totally check this out. This is a beautiful love story and coming of age story called Princess Sid, and this was written and directed by Stephen Cohn, and it's about a young woman who has been through traumatic things. She's 16 years old, her dad and her don't connect well, so she goes to live with her author aunt in Chicago, I think, yeah, for a little bit, and her trying to figure out herself and find what is meaningful to her in life, and to her right now, it's definitely about finding love and having sex and stuff like that, and her falling in love with another young woman, and also building this connection with her aunt, and never having a real connection where she has a loving adult in her life. And I thought this was a really powerful film. I love this film, honestly, and I really want to watch it again. And it's definitely getting added to my collection, but Stephen Cohn does a great job of building up this film in terms of how this flows through and how you really connect with these characters. And overall does a really good job of incorporating intellectual conversations in terms of writing and... Um, analyzing of novels and literature and stuff like that which in other potential directors hands could come off really pretentious and obnoxious but I felt like he overall did a really good job of balancing that there might be a few parts throughout the film that it's just like okay okay but overall I think it's really well done the pacing I was in it this whole film through and really felt connected and was looking forward to where these relationships build off of the tones set well from the very beginning where it's like a e emergency phone call of a shooting and stuff you realize that this film will go to more emotional darker places but also really connecting well with developing this young woman's coming of age tale and her relationship with her aunt and it was really endearing, honestly, this relationship that they built with each other, and it felt very natural, and them starting off not having a whole lot in common, and making trying to make these connections, and it being a little awkward, but them learning from each other, and um, them just building throughout this film, and I really felt connected with both their characters, and really wanted both of them to find their happiness throughout this film, and it was nicely shot by Zoe White. The film isn't like... It doesn't look obnoxiously bland, like TV kind of looking. It looks like a well-shot indie film. And I think that's important because then it doesn't feel stale. And it gives enough of a cinematic look to it where you're not bored by just looking at it. So you can really enjoy what's going on throughout the film. And the love stories that build off of this, there's some real connections. And some of the things that I love most is the dialogue written in this film of between the aunt and our young woman, Sid, and certain things that they say each other that really help flesh out who they are as characters and also help them learn from each other and realizing what kinds of connections and us being able to really connect with the characters as well. And... It does deal with a lot of themes of finding yourself and building loving connections and it does deal with some heavier issues as well and this budding motherly relationship that's building throughout this film feels very natural and earned buzzword and really emotional and you do feel really connected to this and then you understand where Sid's coming from building this relationship with this other young woman and her exploring how she feels and her she's a 16 year old girl she's awkwardly asking adults questions and it brings some good laughs but it also brings some good moments of helping herself realize what's going on inside her and realizing where her life is taking her and where her feelings are taking her and the music by Heather McIntosh it's nicely scored 
this isn't like, oh my god, this is an amazing score, but it does a really nice job. It fits the film well. I think the choices of music is really well done. Now, Rebecca Spence, who plays the aunt, is fantastic. I loved her in this film, and I really enjoy that character a lot, and she really brings moments, and there's a moment where her realizing, like, I might be middle-aged, but, like, I still can be an attractive woman, and, like, she's fully comfortable, like, sunbathing and stuff, and looking at herself, and feeling confident, you really feel that from what Spence is able to do in that scene, and then Jesse Pinnock does a really nice job of feeling wide-eyed wonder of figuring out things throughout her life, and then emotional moments where you really feel what's going on inside her, and she really carries herself well in this, and Malik White does a nice job as the young woman she falls in love with, and who has a journey of her own throughout this film and can be really uncomfortable to watch, but it really does hit emotionally. This is a really, really affecting coming-of-age story with strong romance and emotion and intelligence and really balances all very well, and I'm going to give Princess Sid an A.